Sus, man. It is indeed sus. By the way, to folks lost, sus means suspicious. Elon speaks street. Yeah, guys, you know all those, uh, all those gang members on the streets when they're getting in their gang wars and everything, they're always like, Hey, he's acting kinda sus. That guy's over there acting a little bit sussy. We should do a drive-by on him right now. What's up, boys? It's currently 2 in the morning as I'm recording this. My eyes are unironically burning. I begging to fall asleep, but I can't. I must resist. I have to be at an airport soon. But I took a cold shower, I am awake, and I am ready to yell at old people this time instead of kids for once. You're welcome, guys. I I've matured. Anyway, for this video, I want you guys to spell the longest word to ever exist. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. And if you can't do it, I will cry. Anyway, with that being said, I'm not gonna waste any more time. Enjoy the video, boys. Capitalism versus socialism. Capitalism A+. Free market, reward success, private property, and individual freedom. Socialism F. Controlled market, punishes success, rewards laziness, government controls businesses, high taxes, and communism F minus. No private property, government owns everything, people have no rights, promotes corruption, and no one can be successful. And then bro is like, capitalism is <laughs> it's the best. I don't think that kid knows what capitalism is, man. I think you're putting words in his mouth. And ironically, all jokes aside, it is actually crazy how just obviously propaganda this is. McDonald's. I had a nightmare I was ratioed. Slim Jim. You're about to get ratioed by the long boy gang. It's happening. It's literally, first of all, no, it didn't happen. Second of all, the long boy gang. Listen, I can think of another thing to call the long boy, um, and it's definitely not a Slim Jim. KFC, Morbin time. <laughs> Dude, the Morbius meme, I don't know how to feel about it. I honestly think it's kind of funny, but at the same time, it's just one of those things that's gonna get overdone so quickly, and this is where it begins, with companies like this just dipping their foot in the pool. We gotta stop it now, guys. It's time to wrap it up. Yeah, I do meth. Math, English, technology, and science, and history. You should do meth too! Alright, man. Thanks. I'll go do meth right now. Emoji slang. Do you know what it means? General. Ghosted, to be ignored, to be shocked, idiot stupid capping, lying. Violence, dead meat, stab, punch, gun, shoot. Ideation, self harm. Drugs, marijuana. I don't even know if I can even say all this stuff. That's probably all this, all the rest of this garbage is probably uh, gonna get me a yellow. Either way, <laughs> I don't know who is like, who is saying a lot of this stuff. Dead meat? If they're saying that, they're definitely not gonna be using emojis for it. I'll say that much. Birth of Jesus. Oh my god, dude. Among Us is like- <laughs> Among Us is actually a plague. I thought we left those memes in 2020, but obviously we didn't, and they have spread throughout every crevice of the universe. It hurts, man. It hurts. But you know what? Whatever you gotta do to get the kids to learn. I- I don't know, man. Aquarium apologizes for using thick and oh laud to describe an otter. Abby is a thick girl. What an absolute unit. She chunk. Look at the size of this lady. Oh laud she coming. Another internetism. That might actually be um, a contender for the worst tweet I have ever seen in my entire life. And I'm on Twitter all the time, so that's pretty hard to, you know, to, to accomplish. I got in trouble once in uh, eighth grade for writing thick on a Valentine's Day art project, and my teacher looked it up on Urban Dictionary, um, and, you know, thought it was like fat phobic or something, and tried to get me in trouble with the principal, um, and I had to go to the principal's office and explain what thick, thick meant to the principal of my school. And luckily I didn't get suspended because my mom refused to come in for a meeting so you know shout out my mom i guess elon musk when i uber eats i am summoning them like dark soul it's kind of funny but then elon tweeted it so you know i don't know i don't know feel how i don't know how to feel about this one i really do think it's funny how some people are just like elon is awesome because he tweets memes dude he does not care about you i'm just gonna say it man elon musk does not care about you Ever. He never will. I'm sorry. Vox.com. Gen Z and millennials say the vibes are off with Biden. The president's approval rating has steadily declined among voters ages 18 to 34. 
53% approve and 41% disapprove. Uh-oh, guys. The vibes are not good with Biden right now. Okay, we, we gotta do something about this. I mean, let's be honest here. Trump's vibes were way, way better than Biden's, okay? To BH. I don't care what 73% readers of your webpage think is pretty fab. We won't name our baby Twitter. The only thing I can think about when I look at this picture is how that guy looks like the dude from Fairly Odd Parents, the Credible Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> Always cites his sources. Holy non-fiction, Batman. Leaving out citation is plagiarism. One does not simply do research without citing their sources. This is me when I use a citation manager to format my references. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I bet this teacher is pretty cool. Teachers that have these stupid memes in their classrooms are like 90% of the time actually cool. You know, because it means that even if they have a terrible sense of humor, at least they still have one, and it could be a lot, lot worse. So be grateful guys for your unfunny teachers please tinder it's not magic bro how do you all magically have new girlfriends literally tinder tinder lol why do they just like not even take the actual picture of the meme they like remade it and it like looks so bad and then they just didn't even do the meme right like that's just not <laughs> that's just not how that meme works teen titans go robin has drip i unironically cannot even believe that this show is still going this was a show that was on when like i was in like sixth grade and it's still going can it please end it's never been good ever and like at this point i think it's pretty obvious that they've run out of ideas angry joe now that my friends is a mobile game that i would most definitely play angry birds is for losers and little children men play angry joe where you launch joe biden out of a catapult at a brick wall and try to knock it down and he screams the whole way through i think it'd be pretty awesome honestly create your avatar put clothes on it enter kipoverse hang out with friends and meet new people <laughs> come hang i like how the last one is just like wait a minute no 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 that was not supposed to be part of the plan this is only for putting clothes on avatars and entering the kipoverse nothing more nothing less carly's most sus moments in the new dude can we please just like abolish the word sus why is it even like a th is it literally because of among us can we just get rid of it please just make it a, like like a bad word to say or something like get yelled make people get yelled at if they say that word prime video anytime someone brings up nfts i literally have no idea what any of that means the joke isn't funny but kind of real honestly nfts could be the stupidest thing to ever come out of the last decade and i'm not even joking when i say that video calls be like video off screaming while it's muted and video on and you're happy and nice dude these graphic t-shirts are like an actual plague <laughs> they're so bad i used to wear them when i was in like sixth grade and thank god i grew out of that because oh my god imagine walking around with a giant yellow meme on your chest that's despicable that's actually awful what you don't know squad goals woke book targets kids squad goals <laughs> I feel like they just threw that in there. Like, they were like, uh, we need something to fill up this whole white bar here. So what's uh, something else that kids say nowadays? I don't know. Squad goals. Bay lit. Uh, fire. I don't know. Let's just throw a couple of emojis in there, too. Why not? Jesse, it's time to cook. Crystal wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, only people who have seen Breaking Bad or just like know what the show is about will get this one, but that that's pretty awesome. I, I think that whoever put that there definitely did that on purpose and they knew what they were doing and I think that's kind of sick. What does the calf want to be when she grows up? A MooTube influencer. Why did you say MooTube inf like why don't just why don't you just say MooTuber? <laughs> is this the um those chocolate milks? What's that called? Moo True Moo? Whatever? Dude, oh my god, I remember those ads. They were all over the place when I was a kid. When it comes to make America great again, I'm all in. And I can't even understand anyone who is not. Hashtag ultra maga. Oh my god. Yo, uh, listen. All I'm gonna say is I don't think anyone is probably more MAGA than this chick right here. You cannot beat that. 
Simulate. First roommates, now comrades. When I bring home nugs, my nugs. When my roommate brings home nugs, our nugs. Guys, I get it because when I bring it, I don't want to share. But when my roommate does, I want to share. That's so funny. I'm literally dying of laughter right now. That's so funny. I'm going insane. That's literally so funny. That's literally so funny. I'm dying. Simulate. Oh, God, again. Try a box of nugs, a chicken nugget simulation made from plant inputs for free. Dudes be like, I'll never try nugs. My brother in Christ, text us for a free box. <laughs> I am laughing at the meme, but I'm laughing at it because it's like, it's ironically kind of funny. Like in a, in like a backwards way, but not in the way that they were intending. Razor, us two, credits Marcus L. Waiting for what's going to be announced by Razor on May 10th. I I pray for Marcus L, man. I, I hope he doesn't make any more memes. I think that was one and done, man. Just uh, just an advice from one guy to another. You know, I, I kind of read memes for a living, so I would kind of know. This one, eh, not, not it, man. Just, just, you know, do something that you're good at. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Lunar eclipses are so unspectacular that if nobody told you what was happening to the moon, you'd probably not notice at all. Just saying. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Anyway, I think that's a good place to end it. It is 2.17 in the morning, and I have to be on a plane in two hours. Um, so I'm probably going to end it here. I don't know what I'm going to do for those other two hours. Maybe I'll try to sleep. I don't know. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Dom Epic, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace, peace. Oh!